Hi, Darvis White here and welcome to Sculpt of War Gun Charities, where we teach about healthy food choices made easy. This amazing series is a partnership with of Salt and Soil Wellness Solutions and Usher's New Look Foundation. I'm here today with the founder at of Salt and Soil, the emotional wellness chef, Jasmine Simone. We're here at the kitchen of Usher's New Look Foundation. So let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. So, my kids are picky eaters. Do you have any tips for how to introduce healthy foods into my kids' diet? Absolutely. So, children love to be hands-on. Everything that children do is mostly with their hands, right? When they go to the store, the first thing they want to do is what? They want to touch something, yeah, yeah. right? It doesn't matter what it is. It could be someone else's, it could be theirs. They just want to feel it and touch it. So, anytime that you want to get that tactile sensations going and you want to connect that with them spending quality time with you is a win-win, right? So they're going to be all in. So children are all in when they are actively engaged in the process. So whether it's making a smoothie, you're not ready for them to completely operate the blender, no problem. Let them just put the fruit, wash off the fruit and put it in the blender. Something is still, and then watching it, 94% of the time, they're going to just drink it just because they were involved in the process, right? right? right. So another thing that you can do is make foods um, that children love with the healthier versions, right? So okay. what was your favorite food when you were a child? I'm gonna have to say pizza. All right, so <laughs> just so happens <laughs> that we're about to make a pizza, but a healthier version. Right now, everyone's going out, what, trick-or-treating. They're about to start right, right. maybe getting some candy, some people who are celebrating Halloween, right? And their children are eating, what, all kinds of candies that have yellow dye, has red dye, has green dye. Right. All of these colors and flavors mimic what's in nature. Mm. So they're not optimally healthy for the body, so we want to start thinking about ways that we can, instead of eating those dyes, we can eat the food that those dyes were intended to imitate, right? right, right so we're right. gonna make a deconstructed fruit pizza. Nice. So this is gonna be sweet. It's gonna satisfy your sweet and your crunchy taste buds, okay? So basically, we're going to, I'm just walk you through it and then you can yeah. see how we do it. So we just sure. take the pineapple and once we take the pineapple and we cut the, Right off the pineapple, we're gonna cut it in rounds. It does not have to be perfectly round because once we put all the toppings on it, they won't even notice, right? Okay. And this is the part where I love to get my son involved. He loves to put the sauce on the pizza. So every all sauce pizza has sauce, yes? Right. So our sauce is just made from blending strawberries or raspberries or strawberries and raspberries with one banana, a little tiny bit of water or plant-based milk and zipping it in the blender and that's the sauce. It's actually, you could also use yogurt in this pot. If you had oh, some okay. yogurt, you could put yogurt, yeah. anything in there. And then I just use the natural color of the strawberry and the raspberry to give the sauce that color. So then we're gonna lay it on the pizza and then we're going to um, put our toppings on. Every pizza has toppings, right? So yes. in this case, we're gonna put some hemp seeds and some um, granola, and what else do we put on here? We have all these different toppings. And then we're gonna take these, and we're gonna plate them. Like your base, so this is like your pizza sauce. Think reconstructing, deconstructing a pizza and reconstructing it in a healthy way that kids will love. Okay, so this is like your sauce. And what else does pizza have? Pizza also has toppings, right? So we're gonna put some toppings on our pizza. Flavor. This is a mighty big knife for this little kiwi, but that's okay. And we're going to put some raspberries, even though we made the, the, the sauce with raspberries. Put that in there. And I think we should put some hemp hearts. Thank you to Seven Under National Foods Market for these delicious, delicious products because children eat healthy. 
happy when it looks colorful. When you put the colors of the rainbow before children, and especially if they help you make it, they are more inclined to eat it. And then I have some fresh apples and pears that I got from the farmer's market at Truly Living Well. I'm gonna do that, that, and put that on there. I think we're even gonna go so far as to put some vanilla. Mm, my gosh, my gosh. My goodness, this looks like goodness. And children love these, like literally in terms of, you're talking about it's the holidays, it's Halloween, people are going trick-or-treating, getting all sorts of candy that they don't need. And all those candies were made to mimic the taste and flavors of nature. All of the red dye in the candy, it was made to mimic the red that naturally is housed in the raspberry or the strawberry. So here we have some delicious fruit pizzas and we're gonna put a little bit more sauce on each one. And then we're going to top it off Oops. with some delicious coconut flakes. So this looks so good. Um, any child would want to eat this because it looks so good and you can get your children to help you make this, right? And so I just let them put the toppings on. If I were me, I would just let them put the toppings on their own pizza, okay. build your own pizza. Yeah. And just introducing the healthy foods is to get them involved in a project. And then you've knocked out two things at one time. You've spent quality time with your children and you're getting them excited about healthy food. It's just a win-win all the way around. Well, I want to thank Seven Under Natural Foods Market for these delicious foods that we're using on our fruit pizza. It's one of my favorite places to shop in Atlanta, Georgia, on Moreland Avenue. So it's just, you get all, all your good essential things that you want to keep your body strong and healthy. Yes. Well, thanks, Jasmine. Thanks for joining us for Sculpt. And join us next time when we'll talk about ways to balance your budget and your body.